Hey, it's here from GameThews.com, and I'm checking out Sagrada for the Nintendo Switch. It just kind of got dropped uh, by, you know, um, ah, just kind of got dropped like last week. I don't know why my brain just went like, ooh, um, Dire Wolf Digital and Floodgate Games. Sorry, yeah, I don't even know what's going on. My brain, um. So there's a campaign mode. I do have another video for the Steam version, I believe. It's a pass and play. Solo mode versus AI. Hmm. I guess it's like a score thing. Okay, I'm gonna go versus the AI. Um, I usually do an easy just so I can look like you know like like I'm really look like I'm a superstar. So I'm gonna continue on with that because. Why, why would I not, you know, I want to run the risk of looking bad in front of, you know, not that many people, but still. All right. So the theming of Sagrada is you are sort of like designing a stained glass window and there's certain rules you have to abide by. So as you're placing dice into the window, uh, certain spaces have a color requirement, certain spaces have a number requirement and the overall overarching requirements you cannot have the same number, same color adjacent to each other. So yeah, gotta, gotta think ahead. And if you look around, if you look in the lower right corner of each one of these different window patterns, there's a little diamond, well, series of diamonds. That's sort of like, that's the, the difficulty, their favorite tokens. So the more you have, uh, the more special abilities uh, that you can use, the fewer, the fewer you have to use. So I feel like I'm going to use. Uh, it's a lot of the same color. I'm going to go with this one. All right. So these are the tools I have, like the special abilities. I can reroll all the dice in the draft pool. I'm going to use once in your second turn before use once in your second turn before drafting. Uh, second one is Lathkin. I'm dumb. I should know what that means, but I, I, I do not <laughs> move exactly two dice, obeying all placement restrictions, meaning no same color adjacent, no uh, number adjacent. And then cork back straight edge, draft a die, draft a die, then place it in a spot that is not adjacent to another die. That's the only thing too. You can only place uh, die dice in places that are connected to where you've already placed if that is not, if you play something in a corner somewhere, the game allows for that. These are objectives that myself and the AI player can do. Um, rows and no repeated values, different numbers. Someone rows different numbers, columns, different colors. It feels really, really good when you pull that off, when you can accomplish those things. It's pretty cool. Okay, so the AI is going now me. So see I don't want to put this red four here. Why? Because there's a red next to it. That would not be good. Hmm. How are these both red? That the colors seem a little interesting. How is that red? I'll take it. It's red. And then to, you know, to move forward, hit the ZR button. When you get the last to go, you go twice. Uh, so I don't want to do that. I'm on. What did I just do? Okay. Um, No, what, what am I doing wrong here? If I put blue here, I can't do that. Put that anywhere else. So I don't want it there. Hmm. Yeah, my options are not really that great. I can't put a one next to it. I can't put anything next to it. Pretty much. I could put blue next to it, but that means I can't put blue there.
and I get points for yes I guess I'm skipping which is something I don't normally do but All right, let's see what they got for me. Okay, I could do green here. No, I can't do that there. Oh, that really stinks, man. Ah. Uh. What does L do? Oh, this pulls those up. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really doing so hot. I kind of kind of short here, and you lose points for every space that's not filled in. This is not working out very well for me. <laughs> See, if I put three here, I can't put it there. So that messes it all up. Okay, so I want, I shouldn't really care about colors because I want different numbers. So I shouldn't really care. But I can't put a different color of anything else. I can't put three there though if I do that. Okay, that makes sense. Putting green there makes a lot of sense. My turn again. Um, hmm. Yes, I get five points for every column with different colors. So, yeah, they have a lot more stuff filled in. I gotta, I gotta step this up. Missing turns is not really cool. Not in Sagrada. So if I put that here, all right. I locked in a column with all different colors. Um, and I really can't play anything else. Oh. I can't play a two next to the blue. I can't play a blue next to a blue. Oh, I'm really going to get punished here for not. <laughs> what are my abilities again? Oh, okay, I can only do this. See, if you look down at the uh, power ups, they have a cost. So the reroll one is one and another one. The one to the far right is cost two. Yeah, I can't really do anything with that. Ugh. I'm stinking up the place. I'm not really showing <laughs> a very good game. But you can see the thought process that you that you play into. It's just trying to adhere to the rules, trying to meet your uh, personal objectives as well as uh, the game's objectives. If I put that here, I should be able to put a purple above it and lock in another column with all different colors. Uh, um, different numbers. Okay, so that that makes sense. All right, what do we have here? See, I don't, oh yeah, I can't put a three there because that would defeat the entire purpose. Now, why can this one go here? Yeah, that would break everything I've been working on. As with that, I need can't put a one there. I can't put a two there. Oh, this sucks. Um, oh, I could put a 
no, I don't want to put green there because, and then if I put a green five up there, that breaks getting different numbers. Okay. Yellow two seems to be, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, this is, you talk about slim pickings, man. This is like trash. I can't even. Hmm. Uh, can meet the green requirement pretty easily by putting it there. But I put a green two there. I can't put another number there. So I don't want to do that either. Oh, uh, boy. So I'm putting that red there. Some terrible choices, but that's, you know. That's how it works. Oof, this is mm, okay. A red five will secure a column of all different different colors. And I haven't done the same number. That'll work. Okay, get to go again. I put a no, I don't want to put a green five there because I would defeat the purpose. Ugh, y'all killing me and making me make awful choices. It's like I have to do it. There's a five in every row except for the top. Uh, so I should put it in the column that is the least likely, I'm least likely to complete by the end of the game. Oh, I'm an idiot because I put a five there to begin with. So, oh, well, so I already had a five in it. So it didn't make any difference anyway. It's my own fault. I wasn't paying attention. I do kind of wish like the, the arrows pointing to the die that you're that you are potentially moving when they're on the actual window. Sometimes it. It gets a little hard to see a showstop or anything. Just an observation. What's up with these fives? My gosh, like everything is a five. What's the deal here? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and re-roll these joints. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's not that much better. Ugh. Yeah, this is. No, this is terrible. <laughs> okay, so I can't have two yellows there, which that also sucks. Uh, what are my options? I could put red here and duplicate a number, thus breaking one of my, one of the goals. Um, I put a yellow two here and can't put a yellow above it. Put a yellow five. Oh, these options are really bad. Yeah, I gotta have something different. I'm trying to get that lock. In. Okay, I already broke it anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. I already have two fives in the third row anyway. So, yeah. won't make a difference. Oh boy. A red five. That would ruin the different. No, that would ruin. Okay. Green, a six. There's no other sixes around. I'd be better off putting that here. 
if I put a six here, that maintains different color and different number for this column and row. All right, let's hope that works. Oh, gosh, man. Oh, wait a minute. All right, so oh, if I put two there, that's already a two. Oh. Man, I really have no good options here. Moves out with two dice. Bang. Uh, is that worth doing? If I move two dice. Uh, let me see. That might be worth doing. If I move the blue one. No, I can't move the blue one because it's a one. That would break. Okay, if I put no, that would break that. That would. Uh. Man, this is. Ugh. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't use the reroll again. Come on. <sighs> what can I do here? I either use this five and eliminate my chance of getting. Well, I'll put the five there. No, nope, I can't do different color or different number if I do that. Come on, man. Let me, let me get it back. Get it back. Uh. Uh, I can keep different color there. Uh. Different number is busted in moment. No, that doesn't make any sense either. <sighs> None of these are good choices. Oh, wait a minute. No, let's me reroll. Let me roll for. Oh, uh, what? How? How does that help? How? Wow. Thanks for nothing. Okay, if I can get a green in there, so I can get different colors. I don't know. This is a terrible game I'm playing. Oh, man. This is bad. Ooh, this is bad. Okay. Got that green. What does that mean? If I put a green six right here. Different colors, y'all. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> different colors or something. Because I'm playing like trash today. Uh, I don't, often don't really use the different move buttons. I, 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 I'm not really sure why. I literally don't have a three on there. That is crazy. I really don't use like the different... The different move ones for whatever reason. Oh, I can't put anything here. I'm done. <laughs> that was that was a terrible game I just played. Absolutely terrible. Oh boy. Let's let's, let's count up the score. Really stunk up the place. Could not pull off a column for nothing. <laughs> Ooh. Ouch. Oh, I won. It was on easy. That was not a very good game I played, though. So. 
Yeah, at least I got I locked down the columns. Columns, yeah, columns work. Uh, rows, not so much. Could not pull off the different number. I mean, in the third one, I have two fives and two ones. I just pff, busted all that up. You kind of have to figure out which one you want to focus on more. You, it's hard to do both everywhere. Although I think I pulled that off almost once versus actual people that we were. It was on a podcast with uh, John Gonzalez and, and Ruel. So uh, bored in East L.A. and we were talking and stuff. And I was distracting them with stupid anecdotes about Bill and Ted. So it allowed me to, you know, to do some things. So yeah, that's that's uh, a little AI. Uh, you can play online. Uh, there's a campaign. Like oh, I'll just show you real quick. You have like different requirements in order to to get past the level. So I think I've ever played the solo mode. Let's let's try this one real quick. Here's the trade off. So, he, he, the difficulty here is when you have less um, ability to use your power ups, but it seems a little less stringent. You know, I feel like the uh, Aurora Sagratus might have done me in. Yeah, I'll try Fractal Drops. Public objectives, fives and sixes, sets of each color. Okay, so we want fives and sixes. Solo mode, you play against a target score rather than an opponent. Uh, the target score is the sum of the values of all the dice around at the end of the game. Track each round, have to. Each round, you draft two dice from the pool of four. The remaining two dice will then leave, will then be added to the round track, leaving a higher value dice in the pool. Will get harder. Yeah, but it will. Use your scoring. Oh, well, can't talk. <laughs> you score using two private objectives and two public ones. Your only, only your higher score uh, private objectives that you score at the end. Oh, okay. Favorite tokens are now using solo mode. Instead, you activate tools by removing a die from the draft pool that matches the color. Interesting. So we just want to choose carefully. Okay. This is different. Right. It's only score for the private ones. So what? Did I miss that? Like why? I thought it said you only score the private ones. So I'm thinking what? why would I? Okay. So every yellow gets an extra point. And every green, oh, sums of yellows and greens, fives and sixes. No, I'm, I'm, I meant what I, I did the other time. There we go. All right. Hey, look, it's my turn again. Who would have thought? Uh, do that. Okay. think I've ever even ha even though I've played a good amount on Steam and my phone and tablet I don't think I've really done a lot of solo mode this is different I like it 
Definitely want to uh, get those greens and yellows in there since the sum is added up at the end. No, don't want to do that. There we go. Don't want that. Okay. What do these do? So if I play a purple, then I can unlock an ability, right? Is that how that works? No. Okay. No. All right. I was wrong. Boom. Go again. I could use that green six since the sums add up. I'm kind of incentivized to do that. Uh, no. Oh, wait a minute. I know what I was doing. Boom. My turn again. Ooh, can't use any of those, which, yeah. Of course I can't. Okay. All right, we're, we're making it happen. I'm getting towards the end, though. Okay, did that. What else do we have here? Boom. there my turn again what can I do with these I could finish that off and there's just two more that can't be a six or a one or a three okay so blue can go here Blue goes there. Why do I keep doing that? Okay. And purple can go there. And that's it. It has all been filled in. Let's see how I did. Target score was 70. Did I know that? I don't know if I knew that. I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> I do like having a target score because it gives you gives you something to, to go on. Ooh. That, hmm. 
Wow. That was terrible. <laughs> that was really bad. I needed 70. I had 43. So, I don't know what I need to work on, though. That's good. I like the Tiger score thing. I, that's what I love about a good solo mode. It, gives, it, it tells you. I feel like I missed the 70. Maybe I, I don't know. But see, now I want to jump right back in and try to crack that score. So, and that is what a good solo mode does. So anyway, that is, well, as, you mentioned, you can play, uh, as I already mentioned, you can play online. I I don't know if it's cross-play with um, the the Steam version and everything else. I Part of me feels like it, why wouldn't it be? Uh, I believe like a lot of other uh, analog to digital conversion games are, it just kind of makes sense, but I don't want to assume anything. So I'm not absolutely sure, but uh, I'll leave something in the description that, you know, but let's cross play. I'll put cross play there if I remember to do that. Anyway, I'm rambling. That's a little teeny bit of uh, Sagrada for the Nintendo Switch. I love the game on Steam. I love it on my, on my tablet and my phone and everything else. And it's great. It's great here as well. So that's Sagrada. Pretty stained glass windows. Very fun game. So do it for me. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Watch more videos. Like those as well. Subscribe again with another account. Don't actually do that. I'm just kidding. Or am I? No, but don't do that. Um, yeah. Wear a mask. Be considerate of others. Um, take care. Be blessed.